Ever find yourself stuck in a rut, wondering if things will ever change? You're not alone. We all struggle with self-doubt and negativity and feeling like we're not living up to our potential. It's like being trapped in a cycle where the days kind of blur together and the future just feels uncertain. But what if I told you that there is a way out? What if I told you that by making just a few simple changes, you could break free from that cycle and finally start living the healthier life you've always dreamed of? Imagine waking up each day feeling excited and motivated, knowing that you're making progress towards your health and wellness goals, as well as your life goals. So in this video, we're going to dive into five game-changing habits that have the power to shake up your life for the better, both mentally and physically. These habits aren't about making drastic changes or overhauling your entire life overnight. Instead, they are small, actionable steps that you can start implementing right now to create meaningful, long-lasting change in your overall well-being. And I also want to say these habits aren't your typical advice like drink more water or get up early every morning. These habits delve much deeper into the psychology of personal growth, focusing on mindset shifts and emotional well-being as much as physical habits. While of course, staying hydrated and maintaining a consistent sleep schedule, these are definitely important things, but these habits that I'm gonna give you go way beyond the surface level. They're gonna help you to prioritize belief in yourself and help you make your well-being a top priority. These habits are the ones that have been truly transformative for me personally. These are the ones that have really shifted the needle and I know that they can make just a huge change in your life too. So if you're tired of feeling stuck and you're ready to take control of your health and your life, then keep watching. It is time to start living the healthier, happier life you have always dreamed of. Now, if you've watched me here on YouTube before, then welcome back. But if you are new to my channel, then welcome. I'm Dr. Kim Foster and I'm an MD turned coach and wellness expert. I was a family doctor for 20 years before leaving clinical medicine to transition over to the wellness side of things. And I'm also the founder of the Wellness Coach Academy where we train new and aspiring health and wellness coaches and help them to build their businesses. And here on YouTube, I share tips and tricks to help you feel better and live well. And if that sounds good, then go ahead and subscribe so that you don't miss any of my new videos. Now let's talk about five habits that can truly transform your life. Okay, so the first one is to believe that this is possible for you. First things first, let's talk about the power of belief. This one was huge for me. I was really stuck in Groundhog Day for a long time before I truly began to work on this one. Your mind is a powerful thing and what you believe about yourself and your abilities can have a profound impact on your life. If you want to make significant changes, you need to believe that it's possible for you to do so. Whether you want to improve your health or advance in your career or cultivate better relationships, believing in yourself is the first step towards success. I think that this is a really big thing that stands in a lot of people's way without realizing it. I know it's maybe cliche at this point, but I just want to remind you of the Henry Ford quote, whether you think you can or you think you can't, you're right. It's like this. If you constantly doubt yourself and your capabilities, you're setting yourself up for failure before you even begin. On the other hand, if you approach challenges with a positive mindset and a belief in your own potential, you are much more likely to succeed. An easy way to start is by affirming to yourself every day that you are capable, worthy, and deserving of the life that you desire. Whether you write this down in a journal or just say it to yourself in a mirror, it doesn't matter. Do whatever works for you. And as ridiculous as you might feel the first few times that you do this, just know this affirmation is just one small pushback against the years and months and days of your mind subconsciously telling you that you can't do this, that this isn't meant for you. So yeah, if you have to force yourself to say a cringe-worthy affirmation every day just to start to exercise those possibility muscles, then that's what you have to do. And know that those muscles will get stronger with every rep that you do. If you want some more help in this department, then I invite you to download my free workbook. It's called Change Your Mindset, Change Your Life. It walks you through a number of prompts to really help you to work on your mindset in an easy and very concrete way. Okay, next up, number two is overcome loss aversion. 
Okay, with this one, we are going to let go of some mental baggage that might be holding you back. Loss aversion is a really common psychological construct that can definitely keep us stuck. And again, so many of us do this without realizing it, me included. I had no idea how much loss aversion I had until I really started peeling back the layers of this one and did some inner work. And then a lot of things changed. So let me explain. Loss aversion is our tendency to fear losing what we have more than we desire gaining something new. This is that inner self-talk that says, what if this doesn't work? Or what if I fail? Even though the potential gain could be huge, if it means possibly risking losing something that we have right now, we humans tend to hesitate big time. A classic example of this is in the context of financial decision-making. So imagine somebody who is considering investing in the stock market. They have some savings that they could potentially invest, but they're really hesitant hesitant to take the plunge because they fear the possibility of losing money. Their aversion to loss leads them to prioritize the preservation of their current savings over the potential gains that could come from investing. As a result, they might choose to just keep their money in a savings account or really low risk investments, even though they understand that the returns are relatively modest. They rationalize their decision by telling themselves that they are just avoiding the risk of losing their hard earned money without fully considering the opportunity cost of foregoing potentially much higher returns in the stock market. So in this scenario, they're fear of losing money outweighs their desire for potential gains, which leads them to miss out on the opportunity to truly grow their wealth over the long term. And I find that most people are generally this way. We fear losing something more than we want to gain something, which is a really limited way of living, unfortunately. This definitely plays out in the realm of health and wellness too. So let's take somebody who wants to start a new exercise routine to improve their overall health and fitness and they might feel a strong aversion to the idea of investing time and effort into a new workout regimen because they fear the potential loss of their free time or comfort or even their current identity. For example, they might worry about losing their precious leisure time spent relaxing or socializing with friends if they commit to regular exercise. They might also fear the discomfort and effort associated with physical exertion, particularly if they're not accustomed to regular exercise. Also, they might worry about the potential loss of their current self-image or identity if they fail to meet their fitness goals or if they struggle with consistency. As a result, they might make excuses to avoid starting an exercise routine altogether, choosing to prioritize short-term comfort over long-term health benefits. And they might tell themselves that they're going to start exercising once they, you know, maybe have more time or when the conditions are more favorable without realizing that they are allowing their fear of loss to hold them back from achieving their fitness goals. So how do we begin to overcome our excessive loss aversion? Well, it starts with recognizing what's actually happening. And to do that, you need to get really Really honest with yourself. Are you hesitating to make moves because you're afraid of what you might lose? Rather than having a loop in your head of what if this doesn't work or what if it's a waste of time, I want you to ask yourself a better quality question. What if it does work and what could be the long-term benefits of me making this change and sticking to it? By focusing on the potential positive outcomes, you're gonna go a long way toward creating a habit of not letting loss aversion hold you back. Dwelling on what could go wrong or what we might lose, it just only serves to reinforce our fears and limitations. Try shifting your focus to what you have to gain, to the positive aspects of your life and to the potential opportunities that lie ahead. By cultivating a mindset of abundance and positivity and possibility, you're going to open yourself up to just a world of opportunities opportunities and experiences that you never thought possible. Okay, let's move on to habit number three, which is to get rid of all or nothing thinking. Raise your hand if you have ever fallen into the trap of all or nothing thinking. You know what I'm talking about. This is the belief that if you can't do something perfectly, then there's no point in doing it at all. It's a really common mindset, but it's also a very harmful one. The truth is life is messy and progress is rarely linear. Expecting perfection from yourself just sets you up for disappointment and can prevent you from taking action altogether. This was a big one for me to overcome. I used to be a 
classic perfectionist, which meant when I was honest with myself that nothing ever got completed because I had to make it perfect before I considered it complete. And of course, perfect doesn't actually exist. Leonardo da Vinci said, art is never finished, only abandoned. I also fell prey to this with my own health and well-being. I went through a phase where if I couldn't have the perfect diet and the exercise regimen that included all the things, 60 minute workouts at least three times a week, then I was like, what's the point? So I just did nothing, which is ridiculous. Of course, one workout a week would have been much better than zero workouts a week. Instead of aiming for perfection, strive for progress. Understand that it is okay to take small steps and make gradual improvements improvements over time. Celebrate your successes, no matter how small, and learn from your setbacks without allowing them to derail you entirely. Remember, it's the consistent effort and dedication that leads to real change, not perfection. All right, habit number four is to make feeling good a priority. Let's talk about the importance of prioritizing your well-being. It's really easy to get caught up in the busyness of daily life where you're constantly striving to meet deadlines and fulfill obligations and please others. But amid all that chaos, it's crucial to carve out time for yourself and prioritize your own happiness and fulfillment. Making feeling good a priority does not mean pursuing instant gratification or avoiding discomfort at all cost. What it's about for me is giving yourself permission to nurture your physical, mental, and emotional well-being in a sustainable and meaningful way. So this might involve incorporating activities that bring you joy and relaxation into your daily routine and practicing self-care rituals, setting boundaries to protect your time and energy, and surrounding yourself with supportive people who really lift you up. This is a habit too. Right now, too many of us are in the habit of doing everything but prioritizing taking care of ourselves. Somehow, it's become normalized to put ourselves last. So you need to retrain yourself and re program that pattern. I'm especially talking to the moms out there. Yes, it's in our job description to take care of other humans, but we do need to be on the list of people who need taking care of too. You are allowed to feel good. You are allowed to opt out of a family event so that you can take care of yourself. I'm giving you permission and eventually you will give yourself permission too once this becomes a habit. Remember, you cannot pour from an empty cup, so take care of yourself first. When you prioritize your well being, you will not only feel better physically and emotionally, but you'll also be better equipped to handle life's challenges and pursue your goals with passion and purpose. All right, the final habit that I want to talk to you about today is to make changes out of self love, not self loathing. I want to talk about the importance of self love and compassion in the process of personal transformation. All too often, we approach change from a place of self criticism and believing that we're not good enough as we are and that we need to fix ourselves in order to be worthy of love and acceptance. But here's the truth you are already whole and worthy worthy just as you are, flaws and all. True growth and transformation comes from a place of self-love and acceptance, not self-criticism and judgment. Instead of making changes because you really hate yourself or because you feel like you have to conform to society's standards, make changes because you love yourself enough to want what's best for you. Approach yourself with kindness and patience and understanding just as you would a really good friend or loved one. Celebrate your strengths and acknowledge your progress and forgive yourself for your mistakes. Remember, you are deserving of love and happiness and fulfillment simply because you exist. So there you have it, five habits that have the power to transform your life. Believe in yourself, let go of loss aversion, embrace progress over perfection, prioritize your well being, and treat yourself with love and compassion. So, as you begin to incorporate these habits into your daily routine, you're going to be able to watch as your life begins to unfold in ways that you just never thought possible. And again, if you want a guided approach to working on all these pieces, go ahead and download my free workbook change your mindset, change your life. The link is in the description box below. As always, I'd love to hear from you which one of these habits hit home with you the most. Which one gave you a gut punch because it sounds all too familiar? Let me know in the comments. Okay, that's a wrap for this video. Take care, have an amazing day, and I will see you again very soon.